Writing is inevitable, whether it's emails, reports, articles, or creative projects, everybody has to do it. So if we could write faster, we would have more time for other things, right? So to help with that, here's a list of my favorite tools for writing. They are very useful with everything from researching, brainstorming to grammar checking. So let's dive into it. All right, so Lex is like Google Docs with AI. It's developed by the people at Every, which is my favorite group of writers. So when they revealed Lex, I was super excited. Um, at the beginning, it was quite a simple writing tool with just an AI assistant, but they've been adding more and more features over time. For example, they have Ask Lex, which is your writing assistant. You can ask it anything as long as it's about um, writing. It can help with brainstorming, creating an outline, getting feedback, um, identifying weak arguments, and so on. If you need help with a specific part of your draft, you can highlight it and ask Lex. I actually really like this collaborative approach. Most AI apps will try to write the whole thing for you, which always ends up sounding a bit robotic and uh, generic. But Lex is more like, um, you know, it writes with you, not for you. The way it gives you a helping hand by giving you some useful advice throughout your writing process is really helpful. Another one of my favorite features is the side comments. Similar to those in Google Docs, you can keep the feedback you get from Lex as comments on the document, so you can work on them later. Then when resolved, you can archive them. Also, it's just nice to be able to pin memories like this on the side of your document, so you don't lose track of your you know, important ideas or reminders. Speaking of comments, I also like that it allows you to share a link to your document so you can collaborate with other people. They're going to need a Google account to sign in though. Um, once you're done drafting, you can run some checks for different things like readability, grammar, confidence, and so on, then it will highlight some parts of your text that could be improved. Um, not all of them make sense, but you know, it's still a good way to revise your draft. It also lets you create customer checks if there's something specific you want to focus on. For instance, you can set the target audience and it will check if your content is suitable for them. There are a few more extra features such as the focus session where you can set your intention, how long you want to focus for, and how many words you want to write. Overall though, I think this is a great tool to make writing a more enjoyable and efficient process. You can give it a try from the link in the description. Okay, speaking of Lex, they just announced another interesting writing tool called Spiral. This is actually more about helping you get rid of the uh, repetitive tasks that you have to do when it comes to writing, such as turning a meeting note into a proper email, thinking about the title of your article or turning your notes into a proposal um you know these things that you usually have to do over and over the spiral turns them into um, a simple workflow i haven't used it much yet but it seems lots of people are loving it it's a simple tool but there are many ways of using it you can see the uh, public spirals to see how other users use it from pretty normal ones like turning newsletter to a twitter thread and user feedback to a case study as well as more specific and creative ones like convert issues with an Airbnb and refund amount to an email to the Airbnb host. So pretty much anything you might do repeatedly. Of course, you can make your own too. You just need to enter what type of input you're going to use and output you want. So for example, if you want to turn a podcast transcript into a blog post, a transcript is your input and blog post is your output. Then you want to provide um, a sample so AI can learn what type of output you expect. It will then analyze the sample so it can fine tune its output. What this means is that you can make it sound like your own writing if you want. By training on your existing writing samples, the output can match your unique voice and uh, style. So if you've been avoiding AI tools because you don't want to end up with a robot boring writing style, this is a great tool to try. Text Cortex is like my virtual knowledge companion. I've tried many AI tools, but still haven't seen anything that can match Text Cortex. So I'm glad they are sponsoring this video today. Um, it's a tool that can help you with not just your writing, but also with your research. When you have a topic in mind, you can just type it in and it'll go through the web to find related articles and provide a summary for you. It comes with references, so you can always check the sources if you want to. And what's cool is that you can save the summary as a new note, which lets you see it anytime you want. 
Also, when I'm reading a specific article, I can just use its extension to summarize it or extract key insights and takeaways and uh, save it to my text cortex library. Once you have enough materials, you can start writing. All the notes and information you gathered can be added to a knowledge base, which is like a, a folder for a topic or a project. Then you can provide the knowledge base to an AI model of your choice. This way, it can generate content based on the information you gave it, rather than typical generic AI content. And to make it even better, it can cater to your unique voice and writing style. By training on your existing writing samples, Text Cortex can generate content that matches your tone, which makes the output feel more natural and authentic. So ever since I started using this tool, it reduced my researching and writing time a lot. By you know handling the initial research and drafting stages, it allows me to focus my energy on you know ideation, storytelling, and uh, putting my own spin on the content. If you want to try it, you can sign up for free from the link in the description. I also made a few videos on how I use it, so you can check it out if you're interested. All right, SciSpace is my another go-to research tool. If you're a writer, student, or academic, it's crucial to do your research before writing, but finding the right paper can be time-consuming. So SciSpace basically makes this process a lot easier. You can just type in what you want to know in the search bar, and then it will fetch relevant papers. There is also a summary of the top five papers, so you can get a quick overview. You can know more about each paper by customizing this table. Just add a new column for things like TLDR, results, conclusion, limitations, and more, so you know what each article is about. You can read the full article if you want to, but here's this cool feature called Ask Copilot that lets you ask a question on the paper directly. And this way, you don't have to read the entire article to find what you're looking for. What I also really like is that these responses can be saved in your note where you collect and organize information. Research can be you know, overwhelming, so having this feature makes it a lot less stressful. Uh, SciSpace also comes with useful tools like Citation Generator and uh, Paraphraser. So it's a great toolkit, especially for academic writing. Also, if you read lots of blog posts or watch videos for your research, you can use tools like Shortform AI. They are not sponsoring this video, but it's my favorite tool to make my research easier, as well as get some book guides. Um, I put the link in the description if you want to try it out. It's an affiliate link, but you will get 25% discount and also support my channel. So um, give it a try. Now, being able to type fast is a massive time saver. People can train to type faster using one of those typing practice websites, but if you're too busy or a bit lazy like me, there are some tools that can help you out. But I need to tell you that this is a Mac only tool. Um, I tried to find one for Windows, but I couldn't, so I will give you an update if I do. Anyway, the tool is called Fixkey. Um, it's a writing tool that works with any app on your Mac. As the name suggests, it can instantly fix any typos, spelling, or grammar mistakes in your text with just one keyboard shortcut. It's pretty simple, but I find it incredibly useful. Ever since I installed it, I stopped worrying about um, typing correctly and uh, started focusing on what I'm going to write. I can just get everything out of my head and into the text, then just hit the shortcut to fix the typos. I quite like how quickly it works too. It's only a um, couple of seconds before the text is fixed. Um, that's pretty impressive. I believe it also supports various languages as well. I tested it with Japanese, but it worked really well. Um, but Fixkey isn't just about grammar and spelling corrections. Its prompt editor allows me to customize prompts for specific use cases, such as brainstorming, rephrasing, or even translating between languages. So it can be a great AI writing assistant in general. Now, before publishing your work, you always want to run it through a plagiarism check. There are a lot of plagiarism checkers, but most of them work fine. I usually use the one that comes with Text Cortex because it's the one that I use most often, but I also want to mention this tool called Quillbot. It doesn't only come with a plagiarism checker, but it's also a great writing tool. I made a full review of it before, so I won't go into too much detail. One of the coolest things about this is the uh, Quillbot flow, uh, which is kind of like Lex. It's a, a Google Doc style writing tool with AI. Like Lex, you can receive feedback on your writing so you know where you need to improve. Also, when you're writing, you can get a suggestion for what to write next. Or for something else, use flares that let you get things like an example, a counterexample, or a new viewpoint. But what's different about Quillbot is that you can also browse the web inside it. In the sidebar, there's this research button, and you just need to enter a question or keywords. You can insert the AI summary into your writing if you want to, um, or go to the original website and read it yourself. 
If it's useful, save it to your resource library so you can find it later. This ability to do research while writing on the same screen is something I really like. It's still a little bit buggy, but I'm very excited when they polish it up. All right, so these are my favorite tools to help you write. If you're interested in the best tools for organizing information and bookmarks, check out this video. Um, okay, thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate that. Um, see you in the next one. Bye.